I got quite a few submissions. That armchair for one. <clears throat> Resort to buying a Billy bookshelf like a lot of us basic bitches do. Oh wait, there is mugs. There are mugs on this shelf as well. Okay, shelves of different like specific things like Greek mythology, Babel. <laughs> Hey besties, it's Joel, and today I'm actually gonna be doing something a little bit different in which I have basically built my bookshelves and I need some inspiration for them. And so a couple of weeks ago, I went onto Twitter and asked a bunch of you guys to send over your bookshelves. And today we're gonna be reviewing them. I'm very excited because I can actually literally see the bookshelves assembled right now. And the video for that should be coming out later this week. But I am really excited to finally put my books on the these shelves and kind of like start the decoration process because it's definitely not going to be done by the time like the video goes up. However, I feel like with the video, I really want to have like a starting point for what my bookshelves are going to be like in the future. And I'm really excited to see how it all comes together over the next couple of months and also like build up my office and stuff as you'll probably see in like future like office setup vlogs, keyboard building videos, etc, etc. Living in my old space definitely did stunt my growth a bit and I definitely felt like I was a bit restricted in terms of like what content I could make. Moving here has presented itself with a few unique challenges. However, it's made me a lot more optimistic about the kind of content that I can create here. And you know, I, I just can't wait to see like what kinds of content I'll be making in the future. But I hope you're all doing very well and that you're looking after yourselves. I am getting quite cozy today. It is raining abysmally outside. And so I've got my cozy Taylor Swift sweatshirt on. I have my Midsummer Night's Dream a candle burning. My partner made me a very nice chai latte. He also put some whipped cream on the top because I really do like whipped cream. It's a little bit of an obsession, but if you've yet to grab that drink of water or beverage of your choice, I would highly recommend you do so so that we remain well and hydrated. And if you've yet to check out my Instagram nor my Twitter, I would highly recommend you go do that as well because I post some extra bookish content that you're not gonna see here. Also, forgive the hair a little. I'm in like an in-between phase of like needing a haircut and also just like not wanting to bother with that at this point in time. So without further ado, let us get into it because otherwise I will go on a whole rant about my latest Stardew Valley obsession. It's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. We literally just unlocked Ginger Island. If you know, you know. I should also probably mention that the submissions that I received, I am not going to be like roasting them specifically. It's mostly just going to be like me commenting about the way that I like how they've decorated their shelves and a little bit of like constructive criticism. And so from Twitter, I got quite a few submissions, but I managed to pick some ones that I really wanted to discuss. And so the very first one was submitted by Katharina or AGGGG to books. Oh, I just got it. It's a good girl's guide to books. Iconic, iconic name. And they submitted a picture that says a bit of an older picture because I usually don't take photos of the whole shelf. These shelves are kind of like similar style to what mine are gonna look like. But my oh my, I love what Katharina has done here. Like with the art prints like on like the peg line going across the ceiling. So kind of like the fairy loop box at the top in the corner. I really enjoy it. And plus, as you can see from like the left side, we kind of have this like cozy romance section. It's a lot of like color coordination and like whites and like pastels and stuff. And I really do like that. And then as we go on to like the mini shelves, they're all basically like series and author based, you know, and I definitely do want an RF Kuang shelf for my bookshelf. But as we go on, like it really transitions from kind of like this like romance, like cozy pastel -y side and it gradually goes darker into the more fantasy sci-fi. And I do like that kind of transition. And I do think that would be quite quite nice to have somewhere on my shelf. I do have a lot of fantasy and sci-fi though, so I don't know if my romance and contemporaries will take up that much, but but I think it would be quite nice to like have some kind of gradient like that. I also like the inclusion of a rug on the floor and I do have a rug to place on the floor by the corner of the shelves. It's green. I think it's gonna be really nice. But I also want, really want like a nice armchair to go there. Overall, Katharina just has such a lovely collection of books and the bookshelves are so beautiful. They're like lovingly accessorized as well with a little faux plant, the mugs, bookmarks and stuff. It really shows like a book lover's collection. So yeah, thank you so much Katharina for your 
submission. I really love the way you've set up the entire shelves and stuff, and you definitely do have quite a good taste in books from what I've seen so far. Next, we have Teresa from Sappho's Library, and Teresa is amazing. Teresa says, my shelves have gotten significantly messier since this photo. Shh. And honestly, yeah, mood. Like, bookshelfies always look nice, but you know, like, five minutes later, it's always going to be, like, a bomb site. It's not going to look great 100% of the time, but those one times you can get shelfies up, Teresa has, like, this rainbow color scheme going on. I love a good rainbow color scheme. I mean, I had it on my old previous shelf, but I don't know whether I'm going to do it this time. As I'm already aware, Teresa has an amazing taste in books, and we have such excellent books facing outwards, such as The Scapegraces, Gideon the Ninth, On a Sunbeam by Tilly Walden. Everyone has been getting me to read Tilly Walden, and I haven't, I haven't started it yet. However, I will be getting to it, I promise. I literally bought one of the books from Mr. B's in Bath, and I promised the bookseller that I would read it, and I haven't got to it yet, and I feel really bad about it. But I will be getting to it eventually, and I'm just, I'm waiting for the right time, you know? Like, I've been in such, like, a weird reading slump for the past, like, like, one or two months, and it's been quite hard to, like, get back into reading, I think because moving has been quite stressful. And so I think once I'm, like, refreshed, I think, it's going to be nicer to get back in and settle back into the reading. I like the way that Teresa kind of has like all of the books of similar heights, like right next to one another, and how all of the series are together as well. I think I will keep like the lower shelves for paperback books, unless they're like belonging to a certain like genre or like age range that I'm displaying. I also still need to read like quite a few of these books, like King of Scars and Rule of Wolves, still need to get to that. There are definitely some elements of these shelves that I think would play really nicely, like the stacking of the books like series. Space Saver, amazing. You can also hide books behind the ones that are facing out the front. If it's like series, you can put the rest of the books behind it. Again, there's the light accessorization of like the flower and the candle. I definitely think there could be more accessories on the shelves with some of the blank spaces that Teresa's got here. It definitely can help or just, you know, eventually more books will be bought. So it probably will fill that instead. But yeah, thank you so much, Teresa. And I just love your shelf. I love it. But next we have Steph Loves who the moment I saw these shelves, I was like, holy moly, I love what, like, Steph has done here. Like, the way these are just so, like, uniformly, like, presented, and the way they've got, like, the little shelf at the top for the candles, do I have the space to do that myself? Because I would totally love to do something like the candle shelf, and all of, like, the beautiful hardbacks that Steph has as well is just so beautiful. Fairy lights as well, the light accessorization with, like, the bust and, like, the Funkos. There's nothing I can really fault about the way that Steph has decorated these shelves. Like, the series are together. Everything's, like, like laid out pretty neatly. I think there's definitely could be some books facing outwards, if you get me, but I get if because of spacing, that can't really happen. But yeah, no, overall, this is definitely like a strong bookshelf in terms of like the aesthetic range. All the books are beautiful. It definitely gives me a lot of inspiration for my shelves as well, like the, the way that like I can present the books. Maybe having a candle shelf because I do own quite a few candles. Fairy lights as well. I didn't consider fairy lights actually for my shelves, but I could get some form of lighting for the shelves maybe. If I didn't really have much else to say, Say about these shelves, apart from the fact that I'm jealous of like a lot of the additions that you have. I'm literally just going to spend some time staring at this now because, oh wow, the mugs. <gasps> I could put all my bookish mugs on like a little shelf. The creativity people have with like the way they decorate their shelves. It's kind of like a reflection of like your taste in books, which Steph does have amazing taste in books, but also like it's a kind of an art form in and of itself. Of course, there's also like the monetary aspect of like sometimes having like a really aesthetic shelf can cost it. But also there's a lot of things that you can do in terms of just the way you present the books. I think whilst the book community does have a lot of consumerist tendencies, and I do fall into that myself from time to time, I definitely think whilst we also like promote like that kind of thing. We should also promote the free alternatives, like, such as using a library, utilizing like other kind of free methods of like decoration. I definitely think we can strike a balance between kind of going full consumerism and promoting kind of free and helpful methods for people to improve accessibility for one, and also to help people in other locations, such as like the global south and stuff, who don't have ac access to the books that people from the west do. I mean, we're not all like Colleen Hoover fans, who accidentally took down a very influential library that helped a lot of people from around the world get access to academic articles and journals and stuff. Anyways, thank you so much to Steph for submitting that. Now we get on to, oh, 
Tatiana, your shelves I picked up because I like them, but I know my partner would really love the way that you set up your shelves. Dark Academia full vibes for the win. I just recently set this up and have been so proud of it, lol. Looking forward to expanding and improving it in the near future. That armchair for one. <clears throat> I love your armchair. Wow. I was like, I need that, but in green. And plus the shelving, right? It's giving a very industrial vibe that I know my partner really likes. I just love the way you've set out your books. Like, I cannot fault this at all. Like, the Dark Academia vibes are there. The Cozy Fall vibes are there. You have, like, such beautiful books displayed outwards, like Holly Black's Book of Night, A River Entranted, Skin of the Sea, Jade Fire Gold. Like, your reading taste is also really exquisite. And the accessorization with, like, the full leaves, like the lamp on one of the shelves. I can't get a light on my shelves unless I drill a hole in the back to pass through the cable, but maybe I could get some alternative lights. Example of like how beautiful alternative shelves can be. You don't have to necessarily resort to buying a Billy bookshelf like a lot of us basic bitches do. For me, I love Billy's, but I know eventually I want to, when I buy a house, I'm gonna get built-ins and get like that ladder rail that goes across because that's every bookworm's dream. I cannot wait to see like more improvements improvements on this and the rug as well perfectly like accenting like the vibes and stuff it's just beautiful like and so well done i'm assuming this is kind of like your study or something because it definitely gives that vibe this would look stunning as like a zoom backdrop because everyone's just gonna be like, looking at your bookshelves being like i wonder what that one is overall well done tatiana like this is just so well done and then we get on to danielle j from dnj reads on twitter who says here are mine and this one is basically more so what like the layout of those billy shelves are basically my layout of billy shelves i really love the way that this is set up there's definitely a running theme here of like rainbow shelves going throughout there was a video i recently watched from adam k hanko I'll have it linked in the description down below he did a video on like organizing his bookshelves in different ways and i found it really like insightful to see like the kind of different methods that people use to decorate their shelves it saved me a lot of time testing out those different methods to see which one i preferred it'll be quite interesting to see if i do adopt like a rainbow shelf in some way because i definitely want to continue maybe not the sprayed edge shelf because um I don't want to cause more sun damage to the sprayed edges than has already been caused but I think like a kind of nice rainbow shelf maybe of queer books going across would be really good as well but going back to Danielle's shelves I love the shadow hunter runes on the walls I think that's a really nice touch to add to the bookish space the way that you've got like the lit joy cray I think additions it's just like a little shadow hunter space and I really like that because it's kind of like a dedicated space to one of your favorite series I'm assuming and I really love the way you've you can really see the rainbow go through. Again, there is a candle shelf. There is a candle shelf. Makes me feel like I should, oh wait, there is mugs. There are mugs on this shelf as well. Okay. And there's also like a slight book cart in the corner. And I love the way you've decorated the top of the shelf as well. Like I didn't really consider decorating the top of the shelf until now. I think it would look pretty nice to do something like that. But overall, I love the way these shelves look. I think the rainbow is stunning. You have some excellent taste in books. I can't see a lot of your other, oh, there's Aragon. I rock I read Aragon as a kid. I watched the film, didn't really like it as much, but I know there's a new adaptation that's been announced, which I'm excited for. The Gilded Wolves, again, excellent taste. The way that you've set out your shelves definitely has given me some slight inspiration for the way I can set out my shelves, given the fact we have like a very similar layout. So thank you, Danielle. But as we're halfway through the bookshelves that we're reviewing today, I'd like to take the time to thank Slid for sponsoring today's video and for providing a handy tool that I've been using to gather inspiration for my bookshelves. Slid is an application that allows you to take notes whilst watching online classes, online courses, or even videos. Being able to Take a screenshot from videos has been extremely useful as Slid includes a timestamp so that I know exactly where to return to just in case I need any more information that I may have missed. An example of me using Slid has actually been very recently where I've been looking for inspiration for bookshelves so I know exactly how I want to decorate them. The amount of like bookshelf tours and bookshelf organization videos I've been watching and there's been like certain moments where I've been like oh I really like what they've done there and so I've screenshotted it. It's been really useful. It just proves that it's such a versatile tool for those of us who think outside of the box. And plus, any notes you take are managed by Slid and they're easily shareable with a link that includes the original video from where the notes came from. And so if you want to check out Slid for yourself, then I'll have a link in the description that you can use to go check out Slid and download the browser extension or you can download the desktop and the mobile app for absolutely free. And so yeah, now we can get back to the other bookshelves for today's video. The next mission then comes from City Girl Writer 
writer who says, the one on the left is my main bookshelf, but the one on the right is where I put some books that cannot find its way onto the main bookshelf. I like the way that you've like begun your collection of books. Like there's definitely some good ones that I see like Babel and your multiple editions of Babel. Door of the Moon Goddess, I'm Glad My Mom Died, The Book Eaters. Sambara Charles, you really showed that you have a quite good taste in books. And also I see that you've got the Kyoshi novels and it's like some manga as well, Chloe Gong. I would recommend, however, the way that you can lay out like the books on those shelves can definitely be like a little bit different because at the minute it's just all kind of like uniform and across. And like whilst we can get some of like your taste from these books, I definitely think having some of like your favorite books be just display more prominently can really show off more of like one, your personality, but also to your bookshelf a bit more. So let's say you really loved Babel, maybe having like the Tower of Babel on display could really emphasize that as well. Maybe stacking some of the books like horizontally can really save up some space for other books to get onto the shelf as well. And so I definitely think that could do you some good. And you also have some leather bounds up in the corner as well. Like displaying those leather bounds a bit more prominently as well would be really nice because they're like quite tucked in the corner at the top. And I definitely think they do deserve some kind of like moment of their own. So I definitely think you could do something with that as well. But those are my two cents. Feel free to ignore me if you don't want to do that. It's just like some constructive criticism slash advice that I would give. And then we got onto Fiona, who essentially has shown us how much of a K-pop fan they are. The Red Velvet Feel My Rhythm poster. The Reve Festival has been going on for so long now. I am like, when are we like moving on? Hopefully after this year, maybe. I am just in love with kind of the way, again, you've presented your shelves the vinyl player is such a clever move. I've been wanting an Audio Technica vinyl player for so long now. I wanted like that vinyl player, but in white and they were selling it in Urban Outfitters. It literally sold out and I was literally about to buy it as well. And you know, I've never known any greater pain than like something selling out the moment you're able to buy it. Moving on. I just love the way you've got like your K-pop collection, like on the bottom with like your vinyls as well. It's really lovely and like set up and incorporated in the space alongside your bookshelves as well. And I definitely feel like you've really taken the time to perfect the way everything looks. And I definitely have some inspiration in terms of like what I'm gonna do to this wall behind me. I just need to like perfect the vision and get a projector so I can like project a gallery wall onto this wall so that I don't mess it up because I don't think I could do it with just it in my brain because I think I would mess it up that way. I think Fiona's just shells are just beautiful. We've got some Alice Oseman up in the top corner, which mm, we love to see. And then just going down, it seems like you're following like a kind of rainbow pattern almost to the bookshelf on the left. And then we get into like series and stuff, which we love to see. We also see some babble. I really love the way that you've like laid this out. And I think like it looks really well done and gives off a lot of like your personality in terms of the way like you're blending like your love of music with like your love of reading. And I think it's all in incorporated really nicely and it's like gives one cohesive theme which I love to see. So yeah thank you so much for sending that through. I definitely think there is a way I can incorporate my albums like my k-pop albums into my bookshelves but I don't necessarily know how that's gonna work yet. And next on the agenda agenda or my lack thereof we have Ali the hardback hoarder and Ali I love the way that Ali sets out their shelves. The ladder. I'm just jealous of the ladder, but also the way that some of the books are wrapped in craft paper and just have the titles written on the side. It's something that I don't know if I would ever do, but like seeing it done looks really nice. It depends. If I don't like the cover, maybe I would then do it. Maybe if it was like a way to track my TBR, like books that I haven't read, but I'm really in love with Ali's shelves. I love like the light accessorization of like the bat light, the little raven on top of the Georgia R. Martin box set. I just think it's such like, a beautiful like example of how bookshelves can be displayed wonderfully. Like the fairy lights going horizontally across. It's just so wonderfully done. It's definitely giving like a dark academia. It's giving like cozy autumnal vibes almost. So yeah, thank you so much, Ali. And I definitely feel like there are some elements I can really adopt for my shelves. Yeah, like the skull, the skull. I really want a skull. That came out weirder than I wanted it to, but I really want like a kind of like skull candle to present on my like dark academia shelf because I think it would look really nice. However, I would probably have to turn the radiator off because otherwise like the candle would probably melt. And next then we have Steph who sent through my pride 
and Joy, which is the Song of Achilles book that they have on display on their bookshelf because that book is beautiful. The anniversary edition of the Song of Achilles is beautiful and stunning and I love the way that it looks. Gorgeous. And a lot of the books that they have on display are to do with Greek mythology, which I really like. Ariadne, I think there's Electra right beside it. I still need to read Jennifer Saint and I think I did just receive an arc of her new book, but I think I'm going to marathon the three so that I have all of them read and also read Circe in that because, you know, I feel like that I need to read another like Madeline Miller book and I know Circe's the one everyone's been going on about that they've been ashamed that I haven't read yet. I will get to it, I promise. I just love the way that like a lot of the books are displayed quite prominently on these shelves and you can really see like what books are their favourites because of the books that they're displaying prominently. I just really love like a lot of the greenery that's also on display with a lot of the plants. I think it just really adds to the space, the little booty on one of the shelves as well near Georgia R. Martin. So I definitely feel like there could be like a way for me to do that kind of thing where I have like different shelves of different like specific things like Greek mythology babble. And then another thing that they've done is on the fourth shelf down on the right shelf, so with the ones we're meant to find, Sands of the Crane, and I think Spin the Dawn is directly like at the back back. I love the way it cascades back to like show a bunch of books as well because I definitely feel like that could be an alternative way to display things and I haven't tried that yet but it could be something that I do try. So yeah, thank you so much Steph for sending those through. And now we get on to the final, final bookshelf where Sam says, feel free to rip apart. And we basically have one picture of like their main bookshelves and then one picture of what I'm assuming is the shelves of their manga, which I am very jealous of because like the amount of manga volumes that Sam owns, I wish I had that. But I definitely feel like Sam's shelves aren't as bad as they think they are because I really do like the way they've laid it out in terms of like keeping all the series together with like Brandon Sanderson and Robin Hobb. I think like there's definitely some places they could improve in terms of like displaying like some of the series like stacked vertically. I know they've done some of that already but I think specifically with like Robin Hobb you could do something pretty cool with that. There definitely could be some like more like bookish art on the wall potentially. That's just me being like nitpicky and I love like the Tolkien at the top. I think Sam you've got quite nice shelves here although there is one thing Thing that I will say is a bit unforgivable, but there's that one shelf in the middle that has been placed the wrong way. And so you're faced with like the chipboard of the Billy shelf as opposed to the white of the Billy shelf. When that happens and you've like don't realize until you fully assembled the shelf, it is the most soul crushing, soul destroying feeling in the world. And I can only empathize with you because of that. And on that note, you've just got great shelves, Sam. I can't wait to see like what you do more with them in the future. But yeah, that's basically everything. This was just like a really quick and like cozy video to record, to be honest. And I just really wanted to do it because like I wanted to look at you, all of your shelves. Cause I know a lot of you give me compliments on my shelves and I really do appreciate that. And I definitely want to like try and give back in some way, like whether it's like complimenting your shelves or giving like constructive criticism on that. I know like other people such as like Daniel Green and Meg with Books have done videos like this. And I think it's like pretty cool and I really wanted to do something like this myself. Let me know if I should do more videos like this in the future. And if you have a particular way of decorating your shelves, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, be sure to click that subscribe button so you're notified whenever I upload next. I'll have all my social medias in the description down below for you so you can follow me on every single other platform. And yeah, that's basically everything. I am just really excited to see the way that these bookshelves are gonna look in the next week or two once I start fully like putting the books on there. I think it's gonna be really awesome and I can't wait for you to see it eventually. And so yeah, I guess until the next time. Bye besties.